Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Village 2. So in the last episode, I ended up working on the storage system, which we can now access from anywhere in the world, any dimension, which is fantastic because it makes the things so much easier because now I can go exploring and actually, like, go exploring for quite some time because I can just throw everything into the system and it'll all be nice and safe and won't be clogging up my inventory. I also ended up putting in the lovely restaurant here. So far, it seems to be working. I mean, she's not making anything right now, um, but we do have we do have food and stuff in here. And so it's, yeah, people are able to come over here and get a bite to eat. I think a lot of people still have, you know, they still have food in their inventory. So they're not having to come over to the restaurant as much. Now, one of the things that I had noticed in the last episode is that our cook, Jalen, didn't have a home. And so I had Case go ahead and upgrade this house right here. So this is now the house for Lincoln and Jalen. So our miner and our chef are both in this house right here. And that also gets us set up. So once I decide to start expanding out by actually having the children... Then we've got our first couple in there. Though I do plan on having a, you know, kind of a range of couples. So not necessarily those that, you know, will actually produce children. So I, you know, plan on I'm being inclusive in here. <laughs> and, but today, today we are going to be working on the university. And so that has definitely been something that has been needing to be built. Because without the university, we can't get moving forward with a lot of things. Because of the fact that, yeah, we need to do research. So that is what we're going to build today. Now, my original plan was actually to have this all the way up against the back wall here. However, I discovered that the actual, like, colony ends right here. And so I can't go further than this. And so it's like... Okay, I guess we're doing. <laughs> I guess we're gonna be doing it here, but that this will this will definitely work. So I should still have enough room because like I want to put the schoolhouse in here, and then I might be able to fit another one of the bigger builds in here as well, to you know kind of create like a like a learning district over here, which would be you know kind of cool. So with let's see, I do have the university in here, so let's go ahead and get this down, and da da da. da. Let's see, we need to bring this up and then this way. Yes. Now, this thing, this thing is a monster. And that's one of the reasons why I've been kind of putting off doing this. Because, yeah, this thing is absolutely huge. So this is, this is where I'm planning on doing the timeline. So let's get up here. And as you can see, I mean, it is, it is huge. It is absolutely gargantuan. And that's just, this is just a level one. So if we come over here, let's head over to level five. Look at this. <laughs> it is huge. Now, with this though, I yeah, I'm not I'm not super impressed with the way that the bag looks. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted it at the very edge of the colony, because yeah, there's not there's not a whole lot going on here. And so yeah, I'm like, uh, no, I don't want that really facing the colony and being able to actually, you know, actually kind of see that or anything. So yeah, so that's the reason why I wanted to put the university on this side. But yeah, so that is that is what we're going to be concentrating on today. So I need to place this down and then get the supplies over to Case. And so once I do that, we can watch a build. Just have been made 
So Keys has finished the university, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look in here. So we've got three different areas that we could end up doing research in. We've got technology, we've got civilian, and we've got military. And so there's definitely, definitely lots of stuff that we can end up doing. And then up here, this is where the actual like university thing is. So here's our research and stuff. But first, we need to go and grab our researchers. So if I remember correctly... It is the, um, I believe the researcher I had hired has, is currently hired in that tower there. So let's head down here. I marked it with a sign because, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to remember which one it was. So yeah, I see the sign. Okay. So that is the sign that says researcher. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we want to go recall worker. So Emil, uh, Emiliano, no, 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 recall worker, manage worker, fire. Are you sick? No, you're sleeping. Okay. Hi. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take this stuff off of you. And then we are going to head all the way over back to the, back to the university so we can actually hire our researchers so we can get started on this. All right. So let's go ahead and click in here and we want to go manage workers. So let's go ahead and hire Emiliano there we go. So we now have our researcher. And let's go ahead and recall the worker. Maybe. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You look like a monk. <laughs> hi. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Oh, and he's even... Wait, 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 wait. Come back here, Emiliano. You... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he is. He's a monk. He's got, he's got the shaved head and everything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. So let's go ahead and go here. We want to go to the research. And I want to come over here. We've got all of this stuff here. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to unlock the, uh, ooh, I want to unlock the, the actual hospital. So I'm trying to figure out, yeah, we don't have anything. So I believe, I believe this, yes, unlocked hospital. Okay. So this is the one that we want to do. And I don't know, can I, uh, okay. I don't think, yeah, okay. It's not letting me, it's not letting me click on this. So apparently there is something else that I'm supposed to be doing in order to get that. So let me try to figure this out. All right. So I realized, oop, I realized I didn't have the carrot in my inventory so right here so now we can actually click on this and so now the researchers are they're beginning to investigate stamina which will allow us to unlock the the lovely hospital which is phenomenal and said so that it's going to take them 30 well hello take them 30 minutes so emiliano is going to get to work on researching that and while he is researching that i'm going to have case build build him a home because i just realized i don't have a home for him all right, so Emiliano has finished the research. So if we go ahead and come in here and come into this, we now have a green check mark for stamina, which means that we have, you know, we had this done. Now, once we reach level two for the university, we can end up unlocking either Band-Aid or Resistance. So in this particular case, we have to choose which path that we end up taking. So if we decide to go Band-Aid route, that is the path that we end up having. And then that goes all the way up to the level five. Or we end up going the resistance route. Now, the next one that I want to research is the Keen. Now, this requires at least three levels of houses. And we have, we have more than enough for that, as well as three books. And I have that in my inventory. So let's go ahead and get Emiliano kind of getting a, moving forward on that. So that's going to take another 30 minutes. But this right here, this unlocks the rails. 
Um, and so definitely thank you to Mitchell for pointing that out that we needed to do the research. So this is what I am going to be working on this time around. Get this up and running and then we'll need to look at actually upgrading the university as well. And then the other thing that I want to get started on is the higher learning, which will unlock the school, which means that we then can educate any children, which means we can start increasing our increasing our population that way rather than trying to hire people within, you know, that come to our tavern. Now, for the next episode, I am going to look at trying to upgrade some of these buildings. So maybe try to get this up to a level two so we can start unlocking some of that. Um, let's see, probably upgrade some of the houses because we are going to need to start looking at increasing the number of people. I already hired the doctor and well, the healer. And so I'm going to be getting the materials together in order to get the hospital up and running that way I don't have to continually run around checking like right here um uh, Brian apparently has um uh, oh and we got another we got another rate but um yeah Brian ended up getting the um getting the flu too and so I have been getting I've been getting that a lot and so it is definitely going to be paramount to get the um to oh, to get the hospital up and running so these guys can end up getting healed um, just by going into the hospital rather than me running around trying to give them all of this. So yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to take care of these lovely, yeah, pirates and stuff. And then, um, and then, yeah. So I definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe. Then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.